<laughs> zero people love you. Oh my god. It's all the grip blade's getting too real. <laughs> I love how the kick does more than shooting him with a laser gun. <laughs> to a tonte. Oh my god, I can change its name. Idiot. <laughs> hey buddy watch this so this is griftlands and if you haven't heard of griftlands it's a really cool deck builder from the folks at clay who made incredible games like don't starve or oxygen not included and in this video i'm gonna take you through my recent run that i did on stream to basically introduce you to the world of griftlands you'll learn a few little tips and tricks along the way and just enjoy some of the funny moments and highlights we had in stream. We'll also be sharing some more videos in the near future with some more dedicated tips and tricks on how to master the world of Grifflands. If you like deck builders or card games at all, you're gonna love this one. It plays perfectly. It's got an incredible story-driven experience across three different characters. So even if you're not super into card games, you can take kind of the easy route and still enjoy the experience in this one you don't have to be a master card slinger you can just enjoy a really good sci-fi story so before we get into the gameplay i'd like to thank clay for sponsoring this video and point you to the link in the description below where you can see the game on sale currently and also check out some of the overwhelmingly positive reviews that grifflands has already received that said let's uh let's see what the grifflands had in store for your boy Regis this time around. Either. Well, we'll play a, a normal run. It's all good. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. I remember Rook's cards blasts. His weapon has a modifier, as I recall. Oh yeah, one other thing about Grifflands. If anybody hasn't played this before, you have two different mechanisms. There's like negotiations where you have a deck and battling where you have a deck. I'm typically a guy who likes battling more, to be honest. But the negotiation side of things um, does add a separate layer. You bear the brunt of the world. The third when character. You wear a soldier's uniform. We'll see. So you turned yours in and left the Admiralty. But even out of uniform, your name still carries the weight of your medals. Captain Rook, the veteran, the hero, the saboteur, the spy. I love Grifflin's art style so much. You freelance, and you're on your way to a job in Grout Bog where the spark barons plumbed the ruins looking for forgotten treasures. We better find some treasures. Okay, yeah, here's our pistol system. That's right. Let's recap what this is. Rook's pistols. Uh, they have four charge chambers. Pistols can hold charge. Charge can be used in battle for additional effects. Empty chambers restore charge over time, protecting Rook in the meanwhile. So yeah, they have like a defensive utility. That's right. So overcharge keeps going up and gives us damage bonus. That sounds familiar. Oh yeah, we have our lucky coin. That's right, we can swap the coin out. This will modify how cards are played. Relationships, zero people love you. <laughs> zero people love you. Oh my God. It's all, the grip blade's getting too real. Stop right there, the bog is closed. Especially to grifters like you. Uh, well, let's jump into it. Falapalo, is his name. We're gonna negotiate. Forgive me for being skeptical of this fee. All right, I gotta. It's been a little while since I've played Grifflands. I gotta recap this a tad. Um, this is basically our health total, and this is basically his. It's called a core argument. It's kind of like what you're attacking here. We're gonna be taking four damage from this little thing. This is his little side arguments. Composure is the defensive aspect, right? Yes, okay, so now we're not taking any damage. Okay, it's coming back to me. It's coming back. And our coin is currently heads side up. This this has a bonus if it's tails side up, or snails, excuse me. And this has bonuses if it's head side up. Okay, so we're gonna end turn. Am I blocking any of the action? No, I'm actually in a pretty good spot. Okay. Card stolen, oh no. Who cares? Oh man, we do not have a lot of damage output here. Okay, so he deployed an argument here. This we can attack, but we don't have any attack guards. Man. We'll just heal up them, that's fine. Adding composure is healing. We're taking four damage, so we're now up to six armor slash composure. 
Um, we can gamble, I guess, to try to flip the coin, and then this will deal bonus damage. We can hit here. Oh, actually, there are bonuses when you gamble. When you flip, I forgot about that. So it actually might be worth it to gamble on occasion for the free bonus, right? I could have dealt... Well, I could have gained armor or dealt some free damage output, but it's all good. So we should have a lethal here, particularly if we gamble to the right side. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Still got it. Who exactly are you meant to report to? Oh, I get to pick a card here based on this. Oh yeah, Blacklist. I remember this card. This was cool. Every person you use it on, the damage increases. I like this still. This seems fun. I'm reporting to Lelen Felimo. No way, someone like you. Felimo doesn't like to be kept waiting. All right, here's the map. I remember this map. So, yeah, that's right. I remember this story a little bit too. We didn't really finish it, as I recall. The first boss was like kind of hard, as I as I remember. But as you enter the official-looking building, you're stopped by an armed guard. Stay right where you are, Grifter, and state your business. Mm, interesting. You spot him lapping at a drink like a contented salamander. I see you've gone up in the world since discharging, eh, rookie? Rook, you old scoundrel, you finally made it. Figured you'd be able to move faster than that, even with that bum leg of yours. Wow. That's hitting too close to home. I have a bum leg. Some of the laborers are malcontent, but they work to sow dissent among the others, radicalizing the workforce. One pamphleteer has been encouraging the workers to strike, if you can imagine. Uh-oh. Go to the work site A and use your select set of skills. But don't don't antagonize them too much. I have a feeling I'm gonna be antagonizing them too much. I remember you making people hate you. That's it's, it's, it's been a strength of mine in life, yeah. Uh your admiralty, yeah? I can read it across your shoulders. Compliment Pengamunt on his perception. Do you have your squadron coin? Can I see it? I'm a collector. I have several coins if you're up for a trade. Oh, yeah, I remember that guy. Trading coins. Trade coins. So we currently have the basic lucky coin, which, which yeah, it gives us a little chip damage and chip armor. Uh, this one gives us even more armor and the same amount of damage or this one i want gives us more damage and the same amount of armor that just seems like a straight up upgrade you find signs of a recent struggle in the clearing bloody scraps of metal and clothing are strewn about there's that that safe family content the distinct odor of ozone hangs heavy in the air you're kicking over a particularly grizzly a particular grizzly piece of scrap when you realize that you are not alone. Drabbit's back! What are you doing here? I should teach you a lesson. Convince Drabbit to work with me or I'm gonna fight Drabbit. He was kind of a jerk earlier. He was like really talking up a big talk and we haven't had a fight yet, so screw it. Defend yourself. Oh my God, he's got fists and I've got pistols. How could this go wrong? He will panic after receiving 49 more damage. Oh, that's right. And then we'll have a, an option to either kill him or not, right? That's right. All right. Boom. It's good stuff. My concentration increases the minimum damage. Yeah, okay. So that's why these are dealing quite a bit, actually. He's gonna apply status effects. This is a turn I can just go full out damage, I guess. <laughs> I love how the kick does more than shooting him with a laser gun. <laughs> It just occurred to me. I am shooting this dude with laser guns, but for some reason, kicking him in the shin does twice as much damage. What are these guns made out of, man? I think they kind of suck, dude. I don't know. 
Maybe these guns aren't so great, man. Okay. We're taking a hit here, but not much. Certainly no problem anyway. Oh yeah, the Brout Bog. I forgot, what does this do? The Grout Knuckle. I think there's one that like gives us treasures and stuff, right? But we don't need that one right now. Oh, uh, this is a 50-50, I guess, to uh, end the fight here. And we hit it, okay. Accept the surrender. We're not gonna murder him yet. Oh, you find evidence of a fight and a damaged enforcer. It seems to be stuck in some kind of diagnostic loop. Its maintenance panel is open, exposing its override controls. The small output window reads zero times 46, zero times four F. I mean, I, is there some, is that like, uh, is that like some kind of code? So we've basically got a menu tree here of three menu options, right? Like previous, like we were in the, let's say we were in the middle one. We selected that it did nothing. We've gone back to a different option. If we hit select now, something else might happen, right? Google had a translator. You can't translate hexadecimal. Can you? <laughs> I mean, listen, there's not a lot of things I'm ashamed of in life, but this is definitely one of them. So let's see, format hexadecimal, group by byte, and then the text for C. Yeah, this is the one that says follow, but it won't, it won't do anything on this one, okay. This is beacon. A small antenna sends in the back of the robot. Beacon activated. Your shout from the shining bog. There it is. Step back from the hardware grifter. That's Spark Baron property. Oh man, that wasn't that rewarding. I was trying to get the thing. Uh ooh, traveling auto dog salesman. Well, I kind of want that. I want my own auto dog. Welcome to my humble shop. The best deals on auto dogs. Trained the feral one myself. But I, I just want the best one, honestly. The best you got. All right, where do I see my auto dog? Oh, here he is. Can I name him? Oh my God. What? Gain this card whenever you murder Auto Dog. Well, I sure hope I don't murder him. Oh, I'm in an isolated location. I can get away with the murder. I mean, I have my dog. We should just fight, right? I think it'll be fine. Should be good. I don't remember if my dog heals. Do you guys remember this or not? Like, does the dog heal at the end of the day or not? Oh, that's a lot of health, but. Oh yeah, what does this do? Battle Flourish. Fill up the Flourish bar to trigger one of Rook's Flourishes. Flourishes persist between battle. Oh, I see, it's an activated ability. Why does this? Oh, this is how much it's filling up by, huh? And then I can spend it. Look for the Flourish vendor. Yeah, I don't remember if pets heal either. I don't know, I think I might have wasted some healing though. Since it was defending itself anyway. Oh, they are applying a status effect and when Rogue Zillic regularly causes you to lose health, gain two charge. Okay. All right. Big hits here. What is this doing? Evasion, dodge the next hit. Okay. Uh, okay. 
taking some damage this round unfortunately fight oh that animation's really good by the way holy crap that was a nice animation oh this is gonna be a monster hit holy crap look at this oh oh good stuff We are dominating this fight. I don't know if that's because of the difficulty level we chose or not, but we are just dominating. Uh, what is this doing? Stealing seven and I have nine. So unfortunately it's not quite enough. This will be though. Get an auto dog. Do we execute? I don't know. It seems like this character, I don't know. Executing it seems. Is it like an important, it seems like an important character. I'm gonna leave it alive. I feel like we open up more story and stuff. We leave it up, right? I don't know. Dragged along by the will of her God. Wow, dramatic. Time to recharge. Oh. Find a small patch of bog berries growing. They don't grow much elsewhere. You know, some are poisonous. We've heard rumors that others have powerful benefits. And now if you can only recall which one's which. <laughs> I feel like the rotten one is like, is it, you know, how, <laughs> how, I don't know. I just want to see what happens. It's funny. You eat the rotten bog berry. The juices bubble like a fermented brine. And you have a feeling you'll regret it later. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Max health upgraded. Increased by five. Nice. Um, I'm going to eat the spotted one too. Let's do it. Let's see. I don't know. It's not long for your thoughts. Cloud off you like morning fog. By the taste of your mouth, you just guess you ate something tart, but you can't seem to remember what it was. Lost five resolve. Well, that's fine. We're going to sleep it away anyway. Eat the red one. It goes down like a hot coal. You suspect that's bad. <laughs> Lost five HP. Okay. So I actually did pick the right one the first time. Uh, arguably, I mean, you care more about max health than current health, which I think I do since we're going to beat the boss and we're about to go to sleep. So seems right. They were all fine, though. It didn't matter. Uh, got some nice graphs. Yeah, this is sick. Nobody hates me and nobody dislikes me. It's beautiful. Oh my god, I can change its name. Idiot. Idiot. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> and there you go. That wraps it up for our Grifflands run. But stay tuned. We'll have some more videos in the next few days covering some more tips and tricks for Grifflands and frankly deck builders in general. So you'll have a few things to learn about this game and others if you keep an eye out for those next few videos that said thanks much for watching this one again check out that link in the description below to see more about grifflands and read all of the wonderful things people have to say about this game but until then thanks much for watching and until next time game on